In regard to your statements about Artsakh and Sunik province being protected by Russian soldiers, I can't say unequivocally. You know, the tragedy is the fact that the Armenians of Artsakh would always say there won't be a war, the Russians are protecting us, the war will only last three days. In any case, the Russians are carrying out peacekeeping activities, Mr. Papian. We don't know about that. For instance, yesterday I read in the news that Russian and Azerbaijani soldiers had approached Armenian villagers and told them to get up and leave the garden of the particular village. What peacekeeping activities are we talking about? Do we know for sure that Russia will protect us if Azerbaijan attacks Artsakh? We assume that it will, as we assumed in the past. We say that Russia is protecting our border with Turkey. Are we sure about that? You can never be sure about a third party. This is what I'm talking about. We don't know if it will in case of an attack. Throughout Armenian history, there has never been a case when Russia has protected us in case of an attack. Fine, but how can we be certain that the West will protect us? We can be certain that the West will protect us because the West does not betray its allies. Take a look at the history. You know, when you want to start a business with someone, you make your judgments based on what kind of a person he or she is. If the particular person has cheated or deceived people and has only thought about making profits his whole life, you will not start a business with that person. But if the particular person has a good reputation, you know that he has always kept his word and has always protected, you obviously trust that person more. Of course, I agree that you can't rely on a third party 100%. This is why Armenia first needs to build a powerful army, like many other countries. However, to build a powerful army, Armenia needs support, funding and needs to improve the economy. Unfortunately, this is impossible with Russia because Russia itself is facing serious problems. That is to say, Armenia can't be under the subordination of Russia and be wealthier and more developed than Russia. Subordinate countries are always weak. If Armenia is under the subordination of the United States in the future, it will still be weak and underdeveloped. It's just that the standards in the United States are so high that even the low is rather high. Բաժանորդագրվեք ազգային ժողովրդավարական բևերի յութուբյան ալիքին։